What's up guys, how you all doing? Welcome to another video. So today we have got a vlog style follow me along video which I know a lot of you guys enjoy. Uh, it is currently about 3 p.m. Uh, and in probably sort of half an hour, 45 minutes, we are leaving to drive south from where I live, not too far, about an hour, uh, to Southampton because we're doing Fulham under 18s against Southampton under 18s uh, in the FA Youth Cup. So it should be a good game. I've got to get there a good bit early, um, probably about an hour and a half before kickoff so we can get some photos of the stadium, um, something which the guy I work with at Fulham um, is specifically after so we can use something on social media. So that'd be cool. Got to get there early enough to do that. Um, um, I'm just going through and setting up a laptop, um, making sure that I've got, um, you know, all of my information set into my photo mechanic, make sure my Lightroom's set up okay, um, everything like that that I do. I've already packed my gear together, got my usual setup, got my two cameras, my 400mm, my 70 to 200 um, my third camera, so my spare one, which I might put the 2470 on in case it gets something close up towards me. Not intending on using any remote cameras really, today so just the just the usual setup looking forward to it i'm gonna let you guys join me along for today i hope you enjoy it let's go Hey guys, welcome to St Mary's Stadium in Southampton. So I'm here, um, literally just, just arrived. So my first job is going to be to get my gear out, set myself up here pitch side, and I'm going to take a large wide angle shot of the stadium. I might even do a couple of shots and turn it into like a panoramic. Um, but hopefully I get something nice. Whatever I get, I'm going to put it into the video for you guys shortly so you can see and you can judge for yourself whether or not it was good. Hopefully you liked it. So right. I'm going to get myself set up, let's go. Now you guys know the uh, know the drill. I'll be using my 400 mil for the actual game, but I'm just going to use my 17 to 40 mil on here, um, just for a minute. So I'm going to take this wide angle shot. So going to head right up to the, the top of the stand behind me here and see what we can get. Let's go. Stadium shot done, sent. I've also got my laptop connected to the press Wi-Fi, which you don't always get, but, but we do here luckily at St Mary's, which is good to go. Uh, the teams, uh, I've actually, funny enough, the front team is literally just walking out right now. So I'm gonna get some warm-up shots, get those sent over, and then we'll probably have about 10 minutes just to chill out, make sure I'm all set, good to go, um, ready for the game to start. Let's get some warm-up shots, let's go.
Okay, so warm-ups are done. So let me show you my my, um, my pitch side setup uh, right here. So if I, so next to me, I've set up my bag with my laptops out on top of it. Obviously I've got my, my R6 now with my 400 mil, which is gonna sit on the monopod right between my legs. Next to me, uh, I've got my 1DX with my 70 to 200. And then just on the other side of me, I've just got my bag with like my other bits in case I need stuff. But, that's pretty much what I'm, um, what I'm going with. I'm set up just outside the penalty box. So literally kind of where the line from the penalty box hits the kind of end line of the pitch. I'm probably six foot outside of that by the corner. Hopefully there's some goals, hopefully celebrations come my way. Uh, obviously I'm gonna shoot the Fulham attacking half, the first half, then I'll swap at half time to get the Fulham attacking half. I'll use my, my usual tactic. I will sit bang opposite where I am now. So that the first half of the game, I'm getting the left side players uh, and in the second half of the game, I'm getting the right side players. It gives me the best opportunity to get as many of the different players as I possibly can. We're probably now, we're like 15 minutes until kickoff, so I'm just going to make sure my gear's set. I'm going to change the toilet, make sure my drink's ready to go. I've got, got a drink around here somewhere. It's not too cold. You can probably see a bit of like, a bit of steam <laughs> coming out of my mouth. It's not too cold, um, but it's a bit cold. So I've got my little scarf ready to go, I've got my gloves right here, got my hat and everything, so hopefully we don't get too cold. Right, let's get ready to shoot some of this first half game action. Uh, should, in fact, I should say, before we get into that, first half of the game uh, is going to be to obviously get a few kind of action shots that I can send over to the medium guys. So I'm aiming for like action shots with the ball, players from both teams to show the context of the teams and the game. Um, that, that's the main goal. Of course, if there's any goals, celebrations, anything like that, I want to get those too. But initially for the first half, the first priority is a few like action shots that show the game. So a social media update could go out that says, hey, like here's some action from the first half um, and clearly shows the two teams. It gives you the context of the game. Same reason why we did a wide angle stadium shot, which the team have already used on social media. I've seen it out there already, right? Now let's actually get ready to shoot this first half, let's go. That is half time, so I'm going to switch ends and then I will talk to you about the first half as we go. Okay, so switched ends. Now the the game unfortunately is 3-0 to Southampton, Fulham are 3-0 down. And the problem is that kills the game, not just terms of the, the game for the team but also for the photography right because I now know if Fulham score there, there'll be no celebrations anything like that they're just going to grab that ball and get back to the centre circle because they've got to score at least three um, so that that makes it tough so now my job is going to be more about getting more of the action making sure I've got some stock of all the players um, making sure that I do get goals if they do go in got some music in the background here getting worried about getting a copyright strike on my video Let's see how that goes. We'll chop in and out a bit. Yes, sorry if this bit's even more stuttery than usual. It might be because I've had to, to, to chop out the copyright music. So, so I'm going to keep talking loudly in the hope that it doesn't pick it up. <laughs> so anyway, look, about to get ready for the second half. Getting ready to shoot this game. Fingers crossed we at least get some good action. And maybe get a couple of good goals. Right, let's get ready for this. Let's go.
So much of this game is down the other end of the pitch that I'm looking for stuff to shoot. I've photographed like managers and people in the, the crowd. There's only a small crowd but people in the crowd. It's, it's, it's a tough game to shoot. Very, very one-sided. Actually finished 3-2, so Fulham scored two goals, but exactly like I said, there was no celebration. Grabbed the ball back to the centre circle, try and get a third, which unfortunately they couldn't do. So the temperature has dropped, it's cold, music's playing, gonna give me a copyright strike, so I am gonna finish up chatting the Carlos go. Man, it's cold, <laughs> and I've, I, I, I swear I always do these vlogs for you guys when it's freezing cold. We're going to do one of these in the spring, I'm telling you now. So, look, game's all done. Um, Frustrating game, right? Because, like I said, because Fulham went 3-0 down, it meant any chance of any celebrations or anything was shot. So, that was a shame. Um, I, I missed one of the goals because I had my head in my laptop sending some pictures. I got the second goal, but it's like an awkward picture from the back, and... You guys who watch my videos, you know I'm going to say don't use a photo like that. I'll show you the photo here so I can show you what I mean. Um, but but I, um, whilst I did send it to Fulham because it's unique with this type of situation, I'm not like building a portfolio. I'm giving them images of what happened in the game. So it might be that they want that photo. Even though as a photographer, I do not like it. And I would never include that in like a um, an independent set for like a media outlet or something like that. But... But you guys have seen it. Um, you can see what I mean. It's a shame because the guy's back's to to me. Got some good other photos though. Tough conditions. It was really misty, which you often get in empty stadiums in winter. Um, so I had to play around a lot in in the post processing with the contrast and um, I used the dehaze feature. Um, tip for you guys: if you're shooting in the mist or fog, the dehaze slider in Lightroom um, can be your friend. Don't go too far with it because it can mess up a photo. But a little bit of dehaze, a little bit of contrast. A tiny bit of drop the blacks um can in fact I tell you what look let me put one of the photos in in just straight out of camera um which is a misty photo and then i'll show you what happens when i play with some of those sliders um and and it creates this photo there you go so you can see what i mean right it can make a real difference in your post processing to play with some of those sliders with those photos hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog please let me know in the comments below you know do you enjoy these type of videos really important to, for me to to know Gonna head home probably about an hour, hour and ten minutes, something like that, to get home tonight, which won't be too bad. Although I do need to get some food. Should be um should be alright. It's pretty hungry, but it's not not too late, so so all good to go. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget, please hit that like button. Make sure you comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, because all those things help me out on the channel. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video.